Hey, what's up? This is Pete over at Southwest Rod and Custom, and uh, we're still working on our freaking desk. It's been a little over a month now, and this is supposed to be a one, two week project, but uh, you know how things go. Anyway, we got our hood back from the upholstery shop, and we went ahead and block sanded it all out, just like many did the main desk. Okay, block sand, dry sanded it. And of course, when you do that, you're gonna come across, especially when you got major body work like this, because you really gotta make sure this is looking good down in here. It's gotta be looking nice. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna find some high and low spots in it. So I wasn't really happy with this area right in here. It had a right in this area right here, it had a low spot, and when you paint that, if you don't fix it and you paint it, it's going to look wavy and be, you'll see the low spots when you color sand and buff it if you want a real nice high gloss finish. Now, this is just a desk that we're making for the customer, but I like to take pride in what I do and I wanted the best desk that will ever be made out of a 1956 Cadillac. So that's why I'm taking my time and I'm doing it right. Now some people get a little nervous, some people get a little etchy, you know, they want it now, 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 now. And when they get their product back, they don't understand. Okay? They don't understand that when you take your time and do it right, that's when it's going to be done right. When you rush through it, slop it all together. Yeah, Any could have done this, but uh, that's a lot of work. And I decided, well, I better hit take over. So, we got that done. And... I'll get that done probably today or tomorrow, and then it'll be ready to uh, reprime again, and uh, hopefully wet sand it out and paint it. So always remember, okay, to dry sand. I noticed there was a low spot over here, so I had to fix that, and we had some imperfections on the edges. I went ahead and redid those, and I found two low spots here. That's what's real important when you use a guide coat, okay? A guide coat is a very, very important step in painting your vehicle right, okay? So if you're gonna do this at home, which you can do it, okay? Don't let anybody tell you you can't. Even if you can't do it, at least you know the knowledge of what's going on when you take it to the body shop and you know all the procedures. So Mr. Uh, you know, fancy ass, uh, let's uh, charge a million dollar paint and body shop ain't gonna stick it in your fucking ass. And let's go look at that desk, cause uh, I hate to tell you, that desk is now in the paint booth. And we all know what that means. That means it's ready to be painted. Minnie did a fantastic job block sanding that out. You can see, you can see so I'm going to clean this thing up, okay, I got my paint booth all cleaned up, it's ready to go, and I think we're going to be painting some red today, Cadillac 56 red. So Bobby, I hope you like it, it's going to look nice, and we're three quarters of the way there. Cadillac desk in the making, what can I say? Who fucking knows, you know, who freaking knows? All I know is it's a lot of freaking work. That's all I know. What we're doing, we're getting ready to paint our uh, desk. And uh, before we paint it, what we want to do is we want to put it in sealer. Now, a lot of people out there, when you hear sealer, you're thinking of sealer. Actually, what I'm talking about, and I want everybody to know this, I'm talking about epoxy primer right there. Okay, DP48LF epoxy. Now, you want to make sure that you get the right catalyst for it, which is the hardener. Okay, now what I use, okay, for the two items here, all right, what I use, all right, I don't know if you can see this or not or see me, but what I use is I use the fast setting hardener on that. And uh, that's the best hardener to use. So let's get that thing in primer. We'll see what happens. All right. Let's go see what this thing looks like. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. That's it. Now, what I did, I went ahead and put it in white sealer. You 
can see the sheen on it, you can see the gloss coming out of it, and that is going to be one slick disc. So once you get the white sealer on it, and if you look there, we got it everywhere. We didn't just get it, okay? I call it sealer. It's actually primer. It's called epoxy primer, okay? And it's a catalytic primer. I call it sealer because it's non-sandable. If you look at it, you can see that it holds its gloss, and you can tell that it's a non-sandable primer just by the look of it. And that's we got the fenders uh, in white sealer. Now we're going to go with our red paint. So let's see what happens. What's so what do you think of that red? I like that red. He wants a factory original. That's a factory OEM 1956 red. So I think it's going to look pretty nice. What do you think? I like it. Well, and I think I ought to get in there and paint it. It's going to look really, really good with the chroma. Alright, that's one coat. I'm going to put three coats on it and uh, then we'll put uh, three to four coats of clear and I think it's going to look pretty nice. Many did an okay sanding job, but uh, we're not going to talk about that right now. No, she did an excellent sanding job. She did a great job. Am I right? I hope You're damn so. right. You better fucking have because the sand job is what makes the paint job. If you don't have a good sand job, the paint job's gonna look like shit. I don't care how you paint it. Now, if you paid attention when I was painting that in there, I wasn't taking my wrist and going like this with it. I was holding my wrist steady, and I was going back and forth like a robot. You don't want to be using your wrist with the spray gun. And if another thing you noticed, I wasn't leaning the spray gun over like this. What's gonna happen, Minnie? It'll drip on it. We don't want no fucking drips, because then what happens? Paint gets pissed. That's right. And right now, it's a half-assed good mood day, so we want to keep it that way. Let's keep it that way. Keep your arm nice and steady and move your body with it. Keep your air hose out of the way. That's important when you're painting. You got to fucking pay attention. If you don't, it's going to look like Earl Shives, Mako, bullshit fucking paint job. Now, Bobby's going to like... All right. Benny has... Uh, taped it all off for our black to be painted. We already painted all the red, she taped it off, and what a desk this is gonna be. Now it hasn't been color sanded buffed yet. We got all our brackets painted. Everything inside's black, okay? Looks really, really nice. Yes, we got our hood. We had to bring our hood in here so we can paint the backside black. So that needs block sanded down and painted, and we're ready to put this thing back together and give it back to Bobby. If you look right there, I made an insert panel, so when you look through the grill, you won't see an open hole there where the radiator was. So I went ahead and made that, screwed it on there, and painted it black with the rest of everything black. And uh, this is gonna be one awesome desk. Wait till you see it with the lights on. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. I hate to say this, but it's one step closer out my door and into Bobby's office.